I just caught Kevin Hart's latest new movie, Lift, and I think it proves Cat Williams may be right. Netflix dropped another one. It's called Lift. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a paint-by-numbers heist movie. We're going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to give you my review of the movie. But what I thought was more interesting is Cat Williams just went on one of the world's most epic rants on the Shannon Sharp show. And I think he had some pretty good points to make there. And this newest Netflix movie from Kevin Hart might make his point so what we're gonna do let's let's check out a, a quick video we'll talk uh, about the movie a little bit and uh, we'll put it all together for you my name is z you may know me from our reviews will kill you and uh we're here to talk a little bit about this it's fascinating this is from the urban noir uh, they did this whole really good video on it. You may want to check it out. I'm going to attempt to link it up here. And uh, we're going to listen to a little bit of this. Because this is Cat Williams accusing Kevin Hart of being in industry plan. Which means that he did not have an organic career. And I know the guy's been doing it for a long time. Uh, but... What he's saying is that he was just had the support of the industry from the beginning. That he you never really heard of him, and then he just showed up magically. And he is a hustler, that's for sure. He likes to do a lot. But uh, this last movie, holy cow, he's okay as a comedian, at least in like comedic movies. But as I said in my my review, my short review, he has all of the charisma of a wet paper bag. Maybe with some wet newspapers in it. This was, he was the worst thing in the movie. He literally had nothing to add of value to it. And uh, what was the most shocking to me about the movie was the lead girl who he's supposed to have chemistry with. Uh, she was recently just in Loki, which I bashed Loki. Loki is terrible. Uh, but the actress is not too bad. And she has better chemistry with Owen Wilson, <laughs> who's not... Like, like, Owen Wilson is a better actor than Kevin Hart? Wow. It's amazing, baby. So I'm a little confused, but let's, let's hear what Cat Williams has to say. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory in 15 years in Hollywood. No one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard? I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know anything about that. I'm going to say, you know, Kat's going to know better than I would. <laughs> Shannon Sharp must have some real money, man. He has the he has the money to put up these two crazy leather couches where you could just stare at each other with some booze on a tiny table in front of a firehouse and talk, or in, in front of a uh, you know fireplace. Heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. <laughs> I do love Cat's necklace. I have no idea what's going on there. It looks like a captain's uh, wheel. Maybe he's steering the ship. I mean, Cat Williams, obviously legendary comedian who's been doing it forever. Um, interesting. He claims he's been <laughs> collecting receipts for 30 years. I, I wouldn't doubt it. So... He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. So Kat was basically putting it all out there. So, yeah, so Kat says like he never really had a career other than the East Coast. He's a Philadelphia guy. And there's this other strange part where it's 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 weird. There's this whole, especially in this video, so be sure to check it out. 
there's a whole part where they talk about Dave Chappelle who and and Dave was trying to they were trying to do a movie and they made they said Dave you should put a dress on it'll be funny and Dave's like yo they they put black men in dresses I I'm not down with that I, I don't like that I don't think it's funny can we do something different other than that and um so Dave Dave wouldn't do it. And then they asked Kevin Hart the same question, like, hey, what do you think about Dave Chappelle going to do this, like, the whole dream? He's like, they've never asked me to put a dress on. What are you even talking about? Why? Consider the what do you New mean? Year's resolution. What, what, what are you even saying? Got to get through this ad. And uh, it's, it's, inter it's interesting. So let's look at this. From the looks of it, the new pope is not Turkson. The new pope is nine-year-old Oscar nominee... This is uh, Kevin Hart on SNL in a dress. Not sure that I ever saw this or what, but they say he's, his fame skyrocketed after this. So what I'm putting out to you is uh, he's mostly comedian, you know, mostly known for being a comedic actor. Right? He's done movies with The Rock, all sorts of people. I've never seen him in a serious role, and this is... You might think that this heist movie on Netflix was going to be some kind of like comedy it is not there's no jokes in it he never cracks a joke he's not no not at all this is it i don't even know what it was it, it, it i guess netflix really likes heist movies um i don't know man it was it, it i like the surrounding cast i like the cast around the movie but like i said kevin hart was the worst part of this thing it's directed by f gary gray and uh yeah i don't i don't even know what in the world i was watching like i said it's not bad but definitely check your brain at the door type material um they steal an nft because they want it he's an art thief with a crew and they want to steal stuff because you know you got to appreciate the art and there's there's a weird cameo from uh the kid from spider-man who's spider-man's best friend he's in it playing some art dude for all of five seconds literally doesn't tie back into the plot at all whatsoever and uh yeah i don't know what in the world is going on here with this movie it was real bizarre um who's the other kind of villain in it sam worthington shows up in it who i haven't seen he looks like he just got done with his cancer treatment he looks real weird vincent d'onofrio's in this i love vincent d'onofrio he's uh looks like he's not on set with kevin hart except for in one scene i don't even understand what is going on even the girl i like i said i she plays uh renslayer renova renslayer in in um Loki, and she's in this. Her name's Gugu Mabatha Ra. Hey, she's charming enough. Hey, she was better in Loki. She's not amazing in this. She, they, there's a lot of people teleporting all over the place in this movie. Basically, what happens is uh, they're this crew, this heist crew, and uh, they they steal something, and then like a world-ending guy has stuff. He's gonna pay like some sort of hacking group to do some bad things. And they need to bring in the heist crew to steal the gold to help Interpol. Yeah, that's the plot. You don't even need to know it. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but would, <laughs> it's a dismal. It can it, according to Screen Rant, <clears throat> Kevin Hart's new movie continues a dismal Rotten Tomatoes trend. Yeah, it's it's the latest in a long line of splats. I they're saying the the critics have it at twenty seven percent. So, yeah, it's not it's not good movie. That's for sure. I wanted to show it. Here's another one where it says Kevin's uh, Hart's lift shows how the al the algorithm has revived the B movie. Like, why, why do they pay him to do this? He's not charming. He's not tall. He's not handsome, necessarily. And he's just like, he, everyone in the movie's taller than him. And I mean, look, it's just weird. Like, I would think that if he used his wit 
to show people like he does these monologues about like seeing outside the lines and blah blah blah. They never show him being intelligent in this at all or charm like he's supposed to be the leader but he's doesn't do anything to put together anything on this heist and he doesn't they never say anything about him being outside the lines like they try to show it but i don't think it lands yeah it's weird it's like netflix this is a good point that netflix and this is from cnn netflix is like oh do you like adam sandler jamie fox ryan reynolds kevin hart we've got a movie that they show up in it's fine don't worry about it if it's terrible it's just it's bizarre they're like some people will watch this you like kevin hart don't you Kevin Hart signed a four-deal pact with Netflix 2021. And, uh, yeah, I just don't... Yeah, it's not... He's not funny. He's not charming. So what did he bring to the table here? Not sure what's going on. So I, I don't really recommend it. Uh, if you want like a brain-dead movie, go ahead, check it out. I think the Cat Williams stuff is interesting because they sure are trying real hard to make Kevin Hart a movie star. And I'm like, is he really a movie star? I thought I heard things about him selling out stadiums. But I don't. I guess what Cat is saying, that he never really did the, the road stuff that he needed to do to build a career. And then he magically started selling out stadiums and things like that. And, you know, they do, they do tricky stuff. But this... Prove to me that Kevin Hart is, is not really as talented as people think he is. You would have thought he would have been able to throw in something to make himself interesting. And uh, a box of ramen noodles would have been more interesting than him. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you get a chance to watch this? Do you believe what Cat Williams is saying? I think Cat speaks the truth. I don't like the fact that they're accusing him of being a drug addict. Nothing I've heard sounded untoward or out of line from him it's not like he's ranting and raving he's not saying things like tiger blood and and nonsense he's just reporting out stuff that he sees and he is a comedian so i don't know it's a confusing situation but i'm gonna side with cat williams on this one because i saw the proof of the pudding i watched this movie maybe you didn't but i did so i think it proves cat williams point in the meantime, catch our podcast. It's amazing. It's on Friday nights. You can catch the live stream there, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. You can also catch the audio version on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher. Those great places more for free to you. Take a listen, please. We encourage you to. In the meantime, like and subscribe. We love all y'all, but I am on to the next one.